welcome. This is Bliss Arm with a stock swoosh and a reviewing BYND. This got was very tricky. Why? It didn't go the first day that I called it. It went the second day. You could have gotten out of it on Monday. I called puts in it Monday. And you could have gotten out of it Monday or you could have gotten out of it today. I truly had a lot of conviction in this gap. I mean, I've, I've been having a lot of conviction in everything. And it, even though it's been, it's been wily, I will say this. Let's just go over what happened here. So this had earnings closed here, gap down, open, rally. Then I called the puts. The puts were down here if you did them. I called two puts here. Anyways, people were emailing me, do, 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 do. I said, you got to watch this next week. We did it then on Monday. We broke, we fell, and then we gapped down here this morning. 100 was the dream car target. It got pretty much close. So I'd called the 110s and the 105s. This was really, really a beautiful, beautiful move if you stayed with it. I know sometimes it's hard to do that, but you have to play with the momentum. The momentum, and this was always to the downside. Don't get confused in something when you think it's going against you that it's the trade isn't going to work. That's why it's really important to you size yourself correctly in a trade or use stops. Now, for day trades, I use stops. For options, I don't use stops. Basically, what I risk is a stop. I can't lose any more than what I risk in the trade. So if I take 10 contracts, I can't lose any more than the cost of whatever that is. So I don't kill stuff in the middle of it. Now, some people do. I don't. I say cut your size back and hold the trade if you're feeling like you want to kill it if it doesn't go the first day. I know everybody loves it when I call trades and they go the first day. I get it. But to be able to be in something like this and get this massive move down, it was a beautiful, beautiful put train. And I think everybody was emailing me, so I think people did good with this. But the reality is that this market has been tricky. You have to follow what's going on. For me, I follow the strategy that I do in gaps. That tells me what to do and that it tells me where it's going. And then you size yourself correctly and you wait for the momentum to play out. You don't kill something right away. I talked about this all day Friday. Every single second all day Friday, I talked about how much I love this gap and how great the gap was, and I was right. So from where it opened here at 107.73, it basically made almost an $8 move. 100 was a dream target, and it got there within three days. That's not bad, people. Not everything goes to the dream target, and this did. So anyways, long story short, this was a really, 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 really nice move. We'll see where it goes now after this, but everybody should have been out of this today because it expires Friday. And it also was up a lot. Have a good day, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter or the Gap Options course, I'm running a special through May 19th. Email me at melissathestockswish.com. Be careful. Be careful when you're trading right now. Make sure you take profits. And don't forget to size yourself correctly. Have a good day.